you would have already understood what this video is going to be all about. This is about the recent barge incident. So most of the news agencies are saying that Tokte Cyclone has sunk this barge P305. This news itself is incorrect because Cyclone cannot sink a barge. Barge will sink or any vessel will sink if they have hull breached and loss of buoyancy. So that doesn't happen by cyclone that happens due to the barge or the vessel hitting ground running aground or having touching something which can you know break the hull. In this case this barge is an accommodation barge and these accommodation barges don't have their own engines. This accommodation barge got warnings from Navy Coast Guard seven days eight days in advance that winds are going to go up to 100 knots 150 knots but they ignored the warning most of the other barges in that area they came back to the port inside port limit at safe place but this barge somehow decided to be you know at sea just 200 meters away from the rig where it was deployed now we don't really know who gave the instruction to the barge to stay there was it the ongc charter or the master himself so far we know from a rescued engineer that it was the captain who thought that the winds will not go more than 40 knots and he decided to be there but then again it is the responsibility of the company for sure if all the other barges are going inside the port limit then they could have questioned that single barge you know why are you staying out at sea and let me tell you guys this near coastal voyages the people who are working on these barges have license of near coastal vessels and they may not possess the competency which you normally get for a foreign going ship having said that i have already sailed with near coastal vessel officers also and found them very good as well many candidates who are about to join or who are doing training they have been asking me make this video and our parents are not allowing us to join sea so let me clarify for them ships trading in coastal area and ships trading in foreign going ships it's a completely different story reason being ships which are in coastal areas they only have to adhere to requirements of one particular country in this case they only need to adhere and keep the safety standards to the Indian or Mumbai port requirement because they are subject to port state control inspection only in Mumbai whereas foreign going ships they keep traveling to this country that country and uh, their routes are not fixed so their safety standards are much higher than coastal vessels and I am telling you this from my own experience of sailing in coastal ship as well as foreign going ship so to those parents first of all don't be scared with us these incidents they keep happening try and put your son or daughter in a foreign going ship or in a good shipping company even for coastal ships if you are working in a good dp company the standards will be very high these accommodation barges i must tell you that they don't have engines and they are more or less deployed at one place and they hardly move and they need the assistant of the tug so safety standards are not very high and we can clearly know this that only one or two life rafts were inflated in emergency and rest all were punctured and let me also tell you that sometimes they have these life raft inspection which is supposed to be annual and they are supposed to check everything about the life raft if it is okay or not but these guys sometimes they just charge money sometimes companies are also making money and they only change the sticker certificate and label without doing anything to the actual life raft as a seafarer when you go on board it is your responsibility also to check these life-saving and firefighting appliances and ensure if there is any problem with them to be reported and replaced because these are the things which are like passive things you know they are not actually used in the day-to-day -day operation of the ship but they will be very much handy in an emergency situation like this what exactly happened so this bus decided to stay out at sea just 200 meter away from the rig where it was working whereas other barges came inside the port in safe areas so this bus dropped her anchor and these anchor let me tell you they are good for wind only less than 30 35 knots even at 30 35 knots wind speed if the swell is high anchors will not hold anchor will start dragging and anchors are not meant to hold the ship in place in such rough seas the best way in a cyclone or in a situation like this is 
to go out at sea and drift peacefully all what will happen is you know the, your ship will roll heavily pitch heavily probably if you have some loose items they may break but ship will never sink in a cyclone if it is out at sea but in this case the anchors were down reportedly the anchor itself damaged and breached the hull and water is, and water started coming inside of course the ship's crew and engineers tried to run the pump and take out the water but the rate of ingress of water was much higher than the capacity of the pump which was being used to pump this water outside 177 rescued but 74 still missing and 37 dead bodies have also been recovered so such a huge loss of life has happened now who is responsible when it comes to indian navy and coast guard it appears that they have done an amazing job, you know. They have warned all the barges, ONGC and all the relevant authorities about this cyclone well in advance. They reissued the warning but it was ignored. And when the emergency situation come, Indian Navy and Coast Guard coordinated really well and they came as soon as possible and rescued as many people as possible. So here it is, you know, very important to praise them and tell them how good job they have done here now who is responsible some people will just hold the master responsible one guy you know saying that warning was issued and he decided to stay out at anchor but it is the entire system you know it is a safety is a culture safety cannot be taught to somebody in one day and i'm sorry to say be it driving be it corona be it riding motorcycles be it anything we somehow lack safety in our culture we have visited so many places and we find the safety standards of people living there very very high if seat belt is supposed to be worn they will wear it if you are not wearing they are gonna stop you you know they will properly follow the lane they will follow signals safety standards somehow in our country is very low I will give you one more example look at the construction sites we will find on this construction sites people hanging uh, without any personal protective gear foreign countries you will find people wearing helmets people wearing harnesses and working so this is you know high time that we need to raise our safety culture and induce same to our younger generation our kids another point about safety is the Mumbai port my personal incidents once I was coming out of Mumbai port and there was another ship inbound in same channel VTS just instructed both the ships to keep on the right side of the channel and I was following that right side of the channel but the ship inbound was a huge container ship and that ship was in the middle of the channel I kept shouting to the VTS I kept shouting to that ship to move to the right but she delayed her alteration and she was ended up middle of the channel while crossing me so i somehow managed it was a very tight squeeze so when we visit ports like mumbai we are extra careful you know we know that the tugs are substandards and we need to be extra careful sometimes the pilot have interest about you know cigarettes and not really interested in the safe navigation and sometimes they are in a hurry to go back home so is merchant navy dangerous for sure merchant navy is dangerous if you join a you know poor company which doesn't really care about their ships and their crew and who are only after making money and safety standards are poor because remember safety comes with a price so suggestion to those parents who are you know really scared after such incidents ensure to place your kid in a good shipping company after doing entire investigation get the institute feedback their placement record and where they are placing and company's feedback can also be checked you know www.jobships.com and there's a group job ships on facebook you can just type in any company and you will get a proper feedback on it so it is really appreciable i am repeating again really appreciate the hard work of indian navy and coast guard who were able to rescue so many people in this weather conditions where many will just refuse to even go what is heard is that the waves height were about 6 to 8 meters even 2 meter 3 meter wave height is already too much and I can't even imagine how it would be when the waves are 6 to 8 meters high. Some of the crew members were in water for almost 11 hours what they did as the rafts were punctured and they were not working they formed a group and they jumped in the water in a group. 
so that staying in a group is always advisable because you become a bigger target for the rescue team and temperature in mumbai area of water temperature would be around 28 29 so they could even survive 11 hours in the sea imagine if this happens in a colder area the they would have already died out of hypothermia what happened in the case of titanic what i hear that high level enquiry team has been set up to you know ask ongc and all the relevant peoples that who was who was responsible for this but let me tell you nothing will happen this will be in the news for few days probably few weeks and then everybody will forget and the barges and these coastal ships will continue to run with the same poor safety standards so as a seafarer as a crew member we have to take care of our own safety when you join a ship you take care that the lsa ffa everything is in order if not you have to report or ask for a sign off because these ships are very dangerous to be sailing on but instead of joining a good company good reputed company you know we take shortcuts when we don't have job then we are in a situation where whatever comes our way we take it and then we land up in such poor standard barges or ships with this video i hope you guys got some insight about this barge incident and uh, parents who are scared to send their sons after hearing about such incident no need to be scared ensure to join your son daughter right way into the merchant navy and right way we are telling on our channel and if you want all joining info exam related info follow at lifex careers on youtube and instagram with that said stay fit jai hind i will see you on the next one